Hello everyone. 2020 has not been a regular school year by any stretch of the imagination. But in spite of the pandemic, which keeps us all apart, we are still a tightly knit group of people who learn together and support each other in the good and tough times. That's what being a community and a family is all about. In spite of the challenges, our students and staff have worked hard to put together a virtual Christmas concert for your enjoyment. Please join us in celebrating the holiday spirit and the great performances that they have put together. From the Daysland School family to your family, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best time of the year Now I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer Have a holly jolly Christmas And when you walk down the street Say hello to friends you know And everyone you meet the mistletoe is hung where you can see Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me Have a holly jolly Christmas And in case you didn't hear Oh by golly have a holly jolly Christmas this year Hello family and friends of Days Line School Welcome to our virtual Christmas program you know the benefit of doing the show this way is that you can have some snacks. So if you don't already, hit pause and go pop some popcorn. Go ahead, we'll wait. Okay, this year our program is called Memoirs of an Elf. It was written by Devin Skillian and illustrated by Tim Bowers. Memoirs of an Elf was published by Sleeping Bear Press in 2014 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Thank you to the Chester Running School in Camarles, Alberta for giving us the idea for the show. And now, without further ado, enjoy the program. What does a gingerbread man put on his bed? What does he, Thomas? Cookie sheets! <laughs> what does Santa use to measure? What does he? Santameters! <laughs> yes. Now, what do you get if you cross an apple with a Christmas tree? I don't know, a candy cane? No. A pineapple! Oh. <laughs> Where does the snowman keep his money? Where does he, Thomas? In a snowbag. <laughs> Actually, Thomas. Those weren't really that funny, but I have a better joke than all those. What is green, white, and red all over? I have not a clue. A sunburned elf, Thomas. Hey, speaking of elves, it's best we get this show on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, Elves and Reindeer, Memoirs of an Elf. Adam. Here. Lisa. Here. Mike. Julie. Here. Sam. Sam? Sam, are you here? I'm here. Sorry I'm late, but the most amazing thing happened to me on the way to school this morning. I decided to mix things up a bit and walk down Crocus Trail to get to school. But just as I stepped onto the bridge near the pond by the golf course, I found this really cool book lying in the snow. You guys will never believe it. I think it belongs to one of the Santa Bells. What? You're crazy, Sam. No, no, I'm serious. It says on the first page, Memoirs of an Elf. And then it goes on to describe this crazy adventure that Spark, one of Santa's elves, went on the last year while delivering presents with Santa. I've read it. It's super cool. Can we read it to the class? Can we? Can we? Please, Mr. Crowley? Sure, why not? It sounds interesting. I'm intrigued. Well, how about we all take turns reading a page? Why don't you start, Sam? Okay, thanks, Ms. McCry. By the way, best grade six teacher ever. Christmas Eve, 9.45 p.m. Two hours until lunch on Christmas Eve. 
The sleigh is loaded and I feel great. My ears are nice and pointy and I'm feeling extra short today. Bob in a nutshell is really good too. Around the world in 24 hours and it's our job to keep Santa on schedule. I feel so good I snap an Elfie. <laughs> One hour before 10.45 p.m. One hour before lunch and it begins to snow. The reindeer love it. We also have a saying, no snow, no Christmas. For the North Pole, it snowed every Christmas Eve for like 600 years, so no problem. Um, I send a text to Santa. Time to fly, big guy. He says I worry too much. He's probably right. Little known fact, Santa is a really smart guy. Launch time. Santa kisses Mama Claus. Ew! And waves to the other elves. I've got the GPS bobbin. Bobbin's in charge of the toy bag, and Nutshell has the nice list. Little known fact, we don't even bring the naughty list with us. A crack of the whip and away we go into the polar sky. I start the timer, 24 hours to go. as we have for New Zealand. Santa singing, here comes Santa Claus. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Little known fact, it's Santa's favorite carol. Wait, imagine if Santa's pet my dog before. 
How cool is that? Oh, I wish she could talk so he could tell me. No, you're so cool. Little known fact, Santa loves dogs and dogs love Santa. He's playing with a dog named Tugboat when I yell down the chimney, Santa, we gotta go. Santa just laughs as he always does. because kids have left more cookies than usual this year. Santa tries to eat all of them except ginger snaps. Little known fact, Santa doesn't like ginger snaps. Wait, what? I can't tell my mom. That's the kind that she makes every year. Who knew? Santa doesn't like ginger snaps, so he gives all those to me, Bob, and a nutshell. Little known fact number two, you should leave ginger snaps for Santa, please and thank you. and say, come on, big guy, no Santa, no Christmas. 
Santa just laughs and says, Not true, Spark. I'll bet you a candy cane. Little known fact, Santa's serious about something. He bets you a candy cane. Four hours to go. We made up time in Brazil, but now Santa's taking too long again. This time he's playing with a train set that he just delivered. We're waiting so long that the reindeer start nibbling on some tinsel. No, I yell. Little known fact, reindeer love tinsel, but it makes them hyper. It's like 50 cups of coffee. Bob and Jake Santa away from the train set. Santa pokes his head of the last chimney and yells, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. We made it with half an hour to spare. Well known fact. As the last host, we sing, we always put your hands and sing to all night. The wind is too, and then we have to go home.
really cool, Sam. I think you might be right. I think this really did belong to one of Santa's elves. Oh, it's not finished yet, Mr. Kai. This is where it gets really good. Keep reading. What? Let me see this. I'll take a turn. Ta-da! We've done it again, around the world in one night, and we made it to every house. We land at the North Pole where everyone is there to greet us. They're singing and dancing and lots of hot chocolate. Oh, and French toast. Oh, I love French toast. Focus, Miss Carrie. Keep reading. But as we're unloading the sleigh, Bobbin says he doesn't think the toy bag is empty. But how can that be? We gave away every present on the list. But it's not a present in the bag. It just licked Bobbin's ear. Ah! It better not be a mouse. No, not a mouse, Miss Carrie. Oh. It's the dog, Tugboat, that Santa is petting on one of his stops in New Zealand. Ho, 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 we have a stowaway, laughed Santa, as Tugboat covers his face in kisses. Santa is laughing and smiling, but I am not laughing. I'm panicking. Santa, I say, we stole someone's dog. Oh, no. The music stops and everyone is quiet. This has never happened before. Mama Claus says what everyone is thinking. I don't think it's a very good Christmas morning at Tugboat's house. Well, in fact, Santa gives away things. He does not take things. We are in enormous trouble. Any ideas, says Santa? Bobby says we should put Tugboat in a mail in a box and mail him home. Nutshell says we should keep Tugboat for a year and take him back next next Christmas. I suggest we put Tugboat in a hot air balloon, and that would probably mostly sort of be okay. Mama Claus is the only one thinking clearly. Get back in that sleigh, she yells. But the sun is just coming up. Little known fact, we have never flown during the day. People could see us. We put sunglasses on the reindeer and changed into disguises that probably aren't very good. The reindeer are tired and confused, but Santa gives them a few nibbles of tinsel and they race for the run. Suddenly, we're off like a rocket back into the sky. We're all there, right? except Tugboat. He's having the ride on his leg. 9 a.m., Christmas morning. We land behind some trees near Tugboat's house. Bob and Nutshell stay with Tugboat while Santa and I creep up to the window. It's worse than we thought. Wait, I don't imagine Santa would be very ninja like. And elf, yes, they're small, but Santa probably not. Totally. They're all of the presents we brought, but they haven't been touched. Three children are crying, their mother is on the phone, and their father is standing in the doorway, yelling, Tugboat, Tugboat, here, boy. How dreadful, whispers Santa. We sneak back to the sleigh. Now it gets complicated. Bobbin thinks we should sneak Tugboat down the chimney. Nutshell's thinking about big slingshot. I'm wondering if the back door is open. It seems impossible, really. But Santa gives Tugboat a pat and says, go ahead, boy. In a flash, Tugboat takes off like a little rabbit through the trees, flying through the snow and tr uh, towards the house. All of a sudden, the whole family's in a pile covering Tugboat with hugs and kisses. More tears now, but they're the good kind. And I've honestly never seen a happier family on Christmas morning. Santa looks at me and smiles. No Tugboat, no Christmas, he says. He's right. Of course he's right. I saw the candy cane from my pocket and hand it to Santa as we climb back into the sleigh. Little known fact, Santa's a really smart guy. We're really happy, and before we head home, we snap an elfie. How cool was that? So cool. Wait, I didn't see this last page. This journal belongs to Spark Elf. If found, return immediately to North Pole. Please and thank you. Oh no, how will we ever get it back to him? I'll Google it. You can just about find anything on Google how to get a package to North Pole. Got it. Here's the address. North Pole Postal Code. H-O-H-O-H-O. -O -O. We just need to put Spark's name on it. I'll take it down to the office if you'd like. Mama would be more than happy to mail that off for us. Sure, thanks Levi. Well Sam, thanks for sharing your find with us today. That was fun to read what a real life account of an elf is like on Christmas Eve. I'm curious how Spark's journal ended up in good old days land. You're welcome. I wonder what adventures Spark and Santa will have next year. Wish I could tag along. You should write a story about it. Now that you know what happens on Christmas Eve, you could write the sequel. 
Now, class, get out your math books. Let's turn our attentions to fractions. No! no! Slam! 